Hey everybody, today we're going to go over a tech fix. I tried to use a external hard drive on my PS4 and it ends up that it doesn't have enough storage. But the problem is, is it's formatted by that PS4 and when I plug it into the computer you'll see that it doesn't recognize it. Okay, since I couldn't use the external hard drive on my PS4. I want to just use it back on my PC and when I plug it in you'll hear the noise but then the drive doesn't automatically populate under devices and drives and so I had to do a couple of things to try to figure out how to show have that show back up and if you go on the internet there's a lot of people that will tell you to do this that or the other thing but in uh, this case what I found worked for me if you click on the start button down here on the right and go up to disk management left click on that it'll bring another window and your disk may or may not show up here. So what I did, you know, most of these drives are the, the drives that are in the computer. But if you click on view, and on the top there's a disk list. It'll show you every disk. And I know that disk five is my external hard drive. My external hard drive is about 60 gig big and so it always is a little bit less when it shows up as the capacity there. So down here you'll see your drive and it, it says unallocated. So the problem that I ran into is if if I couldn't have that drive auto populate down here I couldn't reformat it to work with my PC. And so in order to get that to show back up, you'll go ahead and right click on the on allocated and click on new simple volume. This will bring up a wizard and it's pretty simple. You just click next. This one will ask you to specify the volume size, but it's already defaulted. So click next again. And then here you could assign a specific drive name if you're real picky on that type of stuff I just leave it on the default click next again and again this is all defaulted you don't really have to change anything unless you feel like you need to um, but go ahead and click next make sure that the perform a quick format is selected and once you click uh, next you'll on the next screen you'll click finish it'll format it for you whereas you couldn't find it down here to format. And now that it's formatted, that's the window popping up, but you'll see that it's actually down here as a drive automatically. So we can try and test this out. We can close this window. We can unplug the external drive, it disappears, make sure it works again when we plug it in. There you go. So that's how you fix it so that uh, you can reuse your external drive if it's not automatically showing up for you.